So we see this contrast, and these are the, the two dominant personalities throughout this entire block of scriptures, is Amalekiah and Captain Moroni. And so chapter 48, verse 7, <laughs> you see this contrast where Amalekiah had been obtaining power by fraud and deceit. So that is breaking down unity. Moroni, on the other hand, had been preparing the minds of the people to be faithful unto the Lord their God. He's not trying to get people to be faithful to him. Malachi wants people to do his will. Moroni wants people to do God's will. And that is just an extraordinary contrast. And so by focusing on the Lord and focusing the people on the Lord, pointing them to Christ, he's able to you look at some of the verbs here in verse eight, strengthening the armies, throwing up banks of earth. He finds the weak places and makes them strong in verse nine. And I love this in verse 10, he prepares them to support liberty, lands, wives, children, peace, that they might live unto the Lord their God and that they might maintain that which was called by their enemies, the cause of Christians. So they have a vision of why they're doing what they're doing. So you see that it says a so that or an order that. They're not just doing it to do it. Right. They're doing it so that the people can keep their covenants, that they can live unto the Lord their God. And so by choosing to live unto God, that brings them the unity when we were taking upon ourselves the name of Christ as his people, we align ourselves with Christ and that wherever we're coming from, that effort to humble ourselves and come closer to Christ brings us closer to each other. 